If winning was defined depending on who practiced the most, the one who started playing first or the one that dedicated the most time would always be crowned the winner. But is this reflected in any sport exertion? Is this the simple formula for success? Uh, I myself doubt that. I believe that the secret formula of becoming successful within anything is the quality of training and the evaluation of practice. Now if you, yes you, uh, are playing any electronic game on an amateur or professional level, why would you come as a sports psychologist? Did you know that our soccer team that plays during 6 o'clock till 8 o'clock during Mondays and Wednesdays will have their peak of performance during these specific days and times? Now the question is when do you practice? I worked with several actors within eSport and I would suggest that the main problems this far uh, has been anxiety, communication and unawareness. Anxiety within other sports we start to practice on a small scale stage which with time becomes bigger. Within eSport we do not always have these opportunities. We compete in our comfortable homes and um, the next thing we know um, we are getting shipped away to a live audience and the stream is shared by millions. Now think about it, if you would have the opportunity to play on a big stage tomorrow, how would you feel? But if you would have lost the first game out of three, what would your thoughts be? And how would these emotions inflict upon your upcoming performance? You see, if you are honest, you will understand exactly what I mean. Another issue is communication. Uh, I worked with a team which recruited, recruited sorry, several new players. None of the new players were ever contracted with the motivation they do not fit the team. But does that problem always have to lay in a misfit? For example, have you ever played a matchmaking online game, listening to people flame? Um, when somebody flames, some people laugh, some actually become angry, some focus less and some focus more. But how do these feelings reflect your performance? Are you aware if these scenarios make you strive harder, or if these thoughts make you play worse? You see, in a public matchmaking game, this question might seem irrelevant, but for a specific team that I mentioned earlier, the problem was not with the new players, the problem was within the negative communication within the team that made the teammate actually perform worse. Why do you need to train on mental attributes within eSport? Uh, I think you need to do that because uh, you have to <coughs> uh, self-explore to optimize elite performance. You need to know what triggers you and what calms you down. Uh, also, you need to develop certain coping strategies that match your personal needs. You were on the World Championship in uh, Azerbaijan. Do you ha have you recognized any specific problems that some players have in common? Yeah, um, it's it's new territory because uh, playing from home is very different from uh, competing. At, uh, at a championship where you come to the actual uh, uh, arena and always you have to deal with the wins and losses and I don't think people are actually prepared for how to deal with those uh, those things. Okay. Thank you Alex. Thank you. So this is what we do within the world of sports psychology so if you want to take the next step, commerce us.